by 26. It's a true story. Um, this was true a few years ago. I ended up not building it. <clears throat> Changed my mind and did a few other things. But it said, back then, I'm planning to build a large flower bed in the shape of a regular octagon. I'll use thick pieces of wood like railroad ties that are 8 feet in length. Once I have the first piece of wood put down, what interior angle should I make with the next piece of wood that I place down in order to make sure that I get a regular octagon? So in other words, I put this first piece down right here, this nice 8 foot uh, railroad beam, <clears throat> or railroad tie, or whatever piece of wood I put down here. Now, when I start laying them down, I don't want to just put them down and whatever because it's going to be, it's not going to, the last piece isn't going to connect back to this very end. So I need to put this piece down so it's a perfect octagon. And that'd be eight feet there too. So I'm trying to figure out what angle to use right here. Well, knowing it's an octagon, which has eight sides, the easiest way is to deal with, again, always the exterior angle. I know the exterior angle is going to equal 360 divided by the number of sides that I'm dealing with in the regular octagon here. So that's going to be an 8. 360 divided by 8, I'll tell you, is 45 degrees. This outside angle will be 45 degrees. If the outside is 45 and these are a linear pair, I know I'm going to lay the beam down right at 135 degrees. I'll come to this next beam, I'll lay it down at 135 degrees. That was the smallest 135 I've ever seen. If I keep doing that, in the end, I guarantee you'll come back and boom, it'll hit there perfectly. Perfectly. This is how you have to do things. This is how you have to think. People that are in a construction business, people that are doing beds, laying beds, laying walkways, laying items like this, cutting tiles. This is the type of thinking you have to use. Very simple formula, but you got to know what you're doing. There's problem 36. The answer in this case is I need to make it at 135 degrees for the interior angle between those beams.